Hey guys, how you doing? It's Dane at Zim's Guitars. Now, I got my stimulus check the other day, and so, of course, I said, well, what can I buy? And I wanted to buy a guitar, but I decided to buy some luthier tools. So, I went on Stumac, started looking around, and a lot of their stuff, it said, out of stock. So, I went on Amazon. I bought some of this stuff from Amazon. Come on in here, let's take a look, and we'll, uh, I'll show you what I bought. Okay, so I went on Amazon and I bought this stuff. And let's just go through it. And I can, I'll kind of um, try to justify why I bought this stuff on Amazon instead of Stu Max. So this first item that I got is a 45-piece multi-tool set. You know, sometimes the quality of the stuff you get on Amazon isn't real good. And everything Stu Max sells is really high-end gear. So, okay. We've got some of these very cheap, inexpensive files that um, I already sort of have a lot of these things laying around. So these probably won't get used very often. I can say that right now. But I needed a set of these. This is kind of a very small um, pair where you can have... Um, Fret, you grab the fret and you can pull the fret out with this and I really needed one of these so I'm happy to have this tool and uh, what else do we have in here we have a string height gauge which uh, I don't understand why you would need a very expensive one of these and we've got the uh, protective guides that you put over your frets so those are always handy to have. I've got a couple, but I've actually used them so much that they wear out. So it's always good to have a couple of those things laying around. There's a feeler gauge. So this is probably, if you watch Dave's World of Fun stuff, this is probably his most used tool that he has. He's always checking the neck relief and, you know, using his feeler gauge. Got some Allen wrenches, it's good to have. These are um, little files for nut files. So that's kind of cool. If your nut's kind of high, you got different uh, things right there so you can file your nuts down a little bit. And here, I needed some of these. These are radius gauges. So they came with this kit. Now this whole kit was 30 bucks. So you've got all these radius gauges and so you stick these underneath the string so you can get your string height just perfect to the proper radius and so I did need a set of these. Now these came in this kit, I'll, you know I'll have to take a piece of wire or something and put it through there or a keychain or something to kind of keep these all together. But uh, let me show you the price of what Stu Mac sells the radius gauge for. Okay, just looking at the Stumac page, they can sell you the understring radius gauges. Now, I got nine of them, and they came in that kit that I paid 30 bucks for. Now, a standard width of four of them is $16.54, and a set of nine of them is $37.30. And then they have an extra wide set of nine for $51. So um, basically for the price of just these right here, and I don't see how much difference really they could be from an expensive one to a, the cheap version of it. I don't understand really uh, how much difference that's going to make. So basically for what I what you would have paid if you would have went on to the Stu Max site at $37. I got the, the whole kit for that price. Less than that price. Okay, so the kit I have also includes um, six uh, bridge pins for an acoustic, which are always useful to have some of those hanging around. You end up with a string winder, which has got to be worth, you know, two or three dollars. And then you end up with a sanding block 
And uh, this works good for, you know, filing if, if you uh, filing your fret ends and different things like that. So you got a little sanding block in this kit too. So again, everything in this kit uh, came to about $30 and it was shipped in just two days. So it's going to be useful. I mean, I can definitely use these. I can definitely use these clippers and other little things in here. These I'll end up using. The filler gauge I'll end up using. So there's that. Okay, so this is the second item that I purchased from Amazon. And again, I would have went in on Stumac and bought one of these. But uh, at the time, they were out of stock. So what I have here is a fret end file. And this is a multi-use one where it has, you know, one, two, three in one. So this should be kind of useful. I think if I show you at the end there, you can kind of see how you have three different sizes, you have very small, you have for jumbo frets and medium jumbo frets. It's got a nice wooden handle. Let me show you what I paid for this thing. Okay, so this is the Baroque fret crowning file. And like I was saying, it has three different sizes. So you got a small size for ukuleles or, you know, you could use it on a guitar if they have very, very tiny little frets. And then you've got its uh, size and, you know, this thing, this is really going to tear into your frets. Uh, this is sort of for extreme use only. And so if you're doing a refret and you've, or if you've got a really high fret, you don't want to pull this thing out unless you've really got something that you really have to dig the fret down. So anyhow, it's got a lot of disclaimers on here saying be careful with this tool. So I paid $27.99 for this. Let's look and see if there's anything comparable on Stumac. Okay, this is what I see on the Stumac site that is similar. This is a round nose diamond fret file, but it has two different sizes. The 300 grit narrow and medium starts at $147.50. The 300 grit wide junior is a hundred and forty seven dollars and fifty cents but but here's what I'm gonna say about this. this one is probably more accurate for those luthiers that are really a hundred percent precise I have to imagine that it's um you know the the pros probably need would rather have this one than the one made in China but for 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 me down here at this shop I'm happy to save that much money Okay, so here's the next item that I bought. And this is a fret rocker. Uh, it feels like aluminum. It's super lightweight. You set it on your frets and you can, you can rock it back and forth to see if you have a high spot on your fretboard. The price of this was $10.85 uh, from Amazon. And the Stumac version of this item is thirty one dollars and ninety nine cents so you, you know you save twenty bucks twenty one dollars by getting the Amazon I'm not really sure why the one from Stumac would work any better it's it's just a very simple gauge you put it on your fretboard and you can kinda of rock it to see if you have a high fret so this definitely was for me saving twenty dollars Okay, so the last item that I bought was a fret leveling beam. Now, this is the 16-inch one, and on Amazon, this item cost me $23.59. Made in China, it shipped to my house in two days. The um, Stumac version of this cost $65.54. So what you do with this is you put two-sided tape on the bottom of this and then you put some sandpaper on that two-sided tape and when you've got your your guitar and you've got your neck really straight and you want to smooth out and level those frets you just kind of rub this back and forth like this to do that there's tons of videos that show how that is done 
And so for me, this was a good deal. It's got these little plastic ends. Hopefully those won't ever get in the way or malfunction, but it's still wrapped in the plastic. But the only thing that kind of concerns me a little bit is that you have these little plastic pieces on the end. And I imagine that you could probably take those out if they ever get in the way. Because that feels higher already. So I would probably just take those little end pieces out. But there it is, a little straight edge. Okay, so here's what I ended up getting. Um, all this stuff I got on Amazon. And the total of everything was um, $93.16. And um, if I would have gotten the items from Stu Mac, a beam, if I would have got a fret rocker at 31 bucks, and if I would have got a file, uh, the total would have been $208.47 for these three items uh, from Stu Mac. And I know they're not really comparable in quality, but for what I need, you know, these will work just fine. This thing I'm going to have to kind of get used to and, and make sure that I don't, you know, screw anything up with this thing because this thing is pretty extreme you start rubbing that against your frets I found out what this is this is a str uh, string cleaner so you can kind of get underneath your strings right here and uh, or maybe it's for your frets this side's maybe for your frets and this side kind of can go underneath your strings and and it's just, you know supposed to help you clean your strings so Anyhow, guys, that's what I ended up doing with some of my stimulus money. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to talk you into getting the stuff from Amazon compared to Stu Mac. But uh, that's what I ended up doing. And uh, there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody have a great day. See you guys. Mm -hmm.